hey you guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video i will be sharing with you guys how i create these delicious veggie and rice bowls that are great for a danube fast if you are on one i know this time of the year everyone is doing either a 7 10 or 21 day danube fast so these bowls are great if you are doing one these bowls are also great for adding a shine and a glow to your skin and also making your body feel good inside and out so yeah, you guys, let's go ahead and get into the video. So the first thing that, that I like to do um, when I'm cooking is just really wash the food. Um, one thing that I like to do, especially when I'm on a Daniel fast or also, you know, just trying to get my um, skin to glow and look better is that I like to eat foods in its whole or original form. And this is what's going to really make the dish very nutritious um to your body and also give you that bright nice look to your skin as well all right you guys so after i get done washing them what i do is i really just oil my pan very well with a very good quality oil the one that i use is Vigo or Vigo oil. This is the one that I love to use when it comes down to preparing these types of bowls. I really like to use a very um, good quality oil. And you guys, this recipe is so simple. Um, the only thing that I do is I really just add salt and black pepper and then also some herbs. So those are three of the ingredients that I add to the dish. And this is really going to bring out the natural flavors of the vegetables. You really don't want to utilize heavy seasonings when it comes down to a dangle fast or really just trying to get your skin to glow because that is just going to counteract what you're trying to accomplish. If you want to accomplish, you know, a better looking skin, if you want to accomplish, you know, your body look feeling and looking better, you want to remove, you know, added sugars. And so what I really just like to do is, like I said, I like to um, utilize just only salt and black pepper, you guys. I have a special trick when I'm done cooking, you guys, that's really going to bring out the flavors so you guys make sure you watch until the end maybe even the middle of the video and you guys will see what i like to do to really bring out the flavors bring out the goodness the good taste of the vegetables And again, you guys, I do this for each set of vegetables. So I do the same exact thing for the broccoli, for the Brussels sprouts, and also for the potatoes as well. Um, with the broccoli and Brussels sprouts, I do not add the thyme and rosemary. Um, the only thing that I do add is, again, salt and black pepper. That's all it really needs. It doesn't need the additional seasonings, um, just salt and black pepper. And then, of course, the oil. You guys, I oil the vegetables so well. I even top it off with more oil. First of all, just so that it won't stick to the pan. And then also, um, it will really add a, a nice texture to the food as well. So for the potatoes, yes, I will be adding the thyme and rosemary. You guys, this is really going to, again, add so much flavor um, to the vegetables. Um, when you use natural seasonings, natural herbs, it's really going to add so much more flavor to them.
all right you guys so this is my trick for getting the vegetables to taste absolutely amazing all right you guys so amazing so what i do is i squeeze lemon juice on all of the vegetables and this is really going to enhance the flavor so much you guys when i tell you you guys you won't even want to go back to just eating regular foods okay this will add so much flavor so much boldness to your foods just squeeze a lemon and make sure all of the food is covered with the lemon juice you guys it is so amazing it is so good so i'm actually going to show a clip of my son eating broccoli you guys and he is tearing the broccoli up like it's so good all right you guys so i also will be cooking yams um what i like to do to my yams is again just add um salt and black pepper and really coat it really well with oil um and that's really all you need um you can add thyme and rosemary really on all of the vegetables but it's all up to you but what i like to do is really just add salt black pepper and coat the yams very well and i like for all of my vegetables to have a crisp to them you know making it a little bit more crunchy than than soggy so i like to cook them on very high um making sure that they're done of course but also with a crisp to them as well So in the meantime, while the vegetables are cooking, I like to add sauteed bell pepper and onion. Um, and you guys, what I like to do with it is I just saute it with some oil really well. And I also add some lime juice. Now, it's really a copycat of the um, vegetables that you see at Chipotle. You know, how they fry their vegetables and they, you know, have their lime juice on it so this is actually where i got the idea of um, cooking my peppers and onions like this so this will also add another texture to the potatoes and it will also give it so much more flavor as well so i just fry them and at the end of it i squeeze my lime juice typically i would squeeze on my lime juice first and then i add my salt and black pepper along with some oregano flakes and you guys it comes out so beautifully um it leaves the potatoes tasting wonderful with you know added texture um you guys it comes out so so well All right, you guys, and this is it plated. Um, as you can see, it looks good. It tastes good. This is so good for a dengue fast. You're not adding any added sugars. You're really keeping it simple and it's not boring, bland, or plain, you guys. It's very tasty. 
when it comes down to getting your skin to glow, you do have to eat vegetables and whole foods on a regular basis. So processed foods and foods that have added sugars that will not help you to get your skin to glow so it is about what you're eating and these bowls have really helped my skin to glow so yeah you guys this is actually a clip of my son eating his vegetables you guys and when i tell you the lemon juice brings it all together like my son literally asked me for broccoli most two-year-olds are not eating vegetables okay but this two-year-old is eating his vegetables it's so simple so easy and then of course the added lemon juice at the end it really just tops it off and bring out the flavor so you guys if you hate vegetables but you want to start eating them add lemon juice to them when they're fresh out of the oven and you guys it's so 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 amazing All right, you guys, so on to the rice. So um, I like to eat a cilantro lime rice. Again, it's really a copycat of um, Chipotle. Um, so what I like to do is, of course, I like to clean my rice, get it completely clean, get all the, you know, white, milky starch like prodigals out of the, the rice it's really going to be what gives your rice a nice texture i'm not leaving it mushy so you absolutely want to wash your rice i actually wash my rice at least 20 times like it, it takes me at least 20 times to get this rice clean you know just to get all the white starch out of there i just really wash it well and again this is going to leave a great texture to your rice is not going to make it mushy at all this is one um, tip that i've learned uh you know eating rice for so many years is to wash it clean okay is to wash it until you see that the water is clear so after i'm done washing my rice what i like to do is i go in with some oil and i coat all of the rice this is going to help the rice not stick to each other um me i do not like my rice to stick to each other i really like them to be you know be free right i don't like them to stick to each other again vigo or vigo i'm not for sure the correct pronunciation but this is the best oil that i like to use and you guys it's so amazing um, but again, you want to um, coat your rice. You want to make sure that all of the rice is coated with oil again so that it will not stick together. So after I have rinsed my rice, after I've, you know, coated my rice with oil and I set it on the stove to cook, I then go in with some lime juice. So I squeeze at least two whole limes into you know this size pot this is a very big big pot that i'm cooking for this size of rice i like to squeeze two limes um, into my rice and then also i cut up some cilantro and i add it into the rice as well and then i i just let it cook and it comes out beautiful it comes out tasty it really comes out amazing you guys so this is how i like to cook my rice every time you know no matter what dish it is this is how i cook my rice and i forgot to mention as well that i do add salt to my rice uh, before it starts to cook so again i do lime juice cilantro and salt and i let it just cook from there i do want to admit here that I did actually add a little bit more oil, um, really because I like to add oil to my food. That's just how I like to cook. Um, but I did add some more oil just to make sure that it will not stick together. Um, sometimes when you're cooking a big pot of rice and if you don't add enough oil, your rice will come out sticking together and mushy just everything that I don't like. So I did add some, um, some more oil here and you guys, I will show you exactly what it comes out to be um, when it is done. All right, you guys, so in the meantime, while the rice is cooking, I like to go ahead and prepare my vegetables to lay over the rice. So what I like to do is cut up a red onion and also some mushrooms. 
So these are two vegetables that I like to use when it comes down to the toppings for my rice. And you guys, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. I don't even know how to explain how good it is. And the only thing I do is I saute it over some oil. And at the end, once it's all done, I just add some salt and black pepper. And then with the mushrooms, I do like to add a little bit more flavor because mushrooms definitely need to be flavored. So I like to add some garlic powder to my mushroom and onion mix just to have some more kick some more flavor to it This is the rice after it's all said and done. As you can see, it's not sticking to each other. They're not mushy. The rice came out perfect. Um, so yes, this is how the rice looks after it's completely done. If you try eating like this for 21 days, you will start to see a remarkable change in your skin. It all comes down to what you're eating. If you get rid of the processed foods, all of the added sugars, you will see the benefits of eating whole foods, eating foods in its natural form, and you will see a glow. This is the bowl, and you guys, it is so good. It's so good. Again, it's just the cilantro rice, mushrooms, and onions, and I seasoned them very well. Um, and yeah, you guys, this is the end result. It's so yummy, you guys. It's so good. As you can see, it has texture. It has flavor. So this is my last bowl that I like to eat as well. That tastes, again, wonderful. So what I like to do is, of course, I like to create a bed of rice and what i've done is i've actually sauteed some green beans and i added some seasonings to my green beans that um really taste well i put lemon pepper lemon juice and also garlic powder as well as a little bit of sugar if you, if you really want to cut all the sugar out of course you can add honey or you can just leave it out altogether but this is something that i like to do yes it has sugar yes i've been saying that if you want to really add a glow to your skin cut the sugars but unfortunately with the green beans it's harder for me to cut the sugar out so but i do use it um, moderately i don't use a lot and it comes out so good and then of course i add additional textures to it so my mushrooms and onion mixture i add that on as well and last but not least i love 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 a good salad um this salad is actually hand prepared it is not something that comes inside of a bag those i actually do not like it has a very funny taste but this i love you guys i love a good salad i hand prepared this salad i cut the leaves and i also added some carrots as well as cucumbers i do like to add salt and black pepper um, this is going to add some more flavor to it and i also have uh, my favorite ranch dressing this is a, actually a dairy-free dressing so tesames is the name of it and it is so good so i recommend that uh if you guys are doing you know dairy-free sugar-free everything free kind of diet you want to try this ranch it is so good i absolutely love this ranch this is how i like to eat when it comes down to getting my skin to glow and also um, really eating healthy, feeling good. Um, and like I said, these recipes are great for a Daniel Faz. It's very consistent when it comes down to how the Daniel Faz looks, um, what kind of foods you can eat, what kind of foods you can't eat. These are awesome recipes for that. So these are my go-to recipes when it comes down to beautiful skin and a healthy diet so i hope that this video was helpful and yeah you guys i will see you in the next video bye